With everything going on in the world right now and all the chaos that's happening around us, you might have missed the fact that some US states are forming their own packs and regencies and teams. Not gonna lie, it's starting to look like a post-apocalypse scenario. So there's a lot going on here. This is looking like a mess. Let's break it down slowly. Let's start with the teams that are more established than others. So on April 13th, the governors of California, Oregon, and Washington announced the Western States Pack. This was to team up and help with recovery efforts to fight the, uh, the no-no sickness. I can't say it because I don't want my channel deleted. Nevada joined the group on April 27th, and then Washington said it'd be working with British Columbia, the Canadian province, on border reopening. On the same day, the Western States PAC formed the Regional Advisory Council formed in New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. Oh, and Delaware, and Delaware. Massachusetts and Vermont haven't for sure chosen what they're gonna do yet, but uh, New England's kind of got their own thing that they've kind of formed up. Then there's the Midwestern Partnership with like the Midwest, obviously, these Midwest states. So they asked Missouri, Iowa, South Dakota, and North Dakota to join, and they all said no. Rejected. These states in the middle US are calling themselves the Missouri River States. North Dakota also has mutual aid with Montana, so they might as well be a part of that too. Then we had this huge thing form over the Deep South, and that got a little worrying because we've seen this happen before. I don't I don't know if we want that to happen again. This time, it's called the Higher Educational Recovery Task Force. Sounds a little bit better than like the other name they had. Now that's just educational purposes. Okay, that's not their own group. Although if they formed their own faction, I think they'd be pretty powerful. Probably would win. They'd probably win. This is broken down into three smaller little teams. We've got coordination between Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. Then there's this Southern coordination with like Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, all like the deep south states. Tennessee, Louisiana, and Oklahoma haven't announced they're gonna join anything yet, but since they're all packed in together, they might be doing their own thing. Texas is gonna reform their empire, I think. That might be the case. Idaho, Alaska, and West Virginia also haven't announced anything. They might be like trying to keep their cards close to their chest, see which team is strongest. I like this down here. Harris County appoints recovery czars. Really? Really you gonna name yourself that? That's not terrifying. And finally, we have the Four Corners pack, which isn't exactly just the Four Corners. We got like like possibly Kansas, Wyoming's in that, maybe Idaho too. So everyone's thinking it, I just went ahead and did it. I made these factions turn into their own countries. What would happen in a battle royale here for the US in 2020? It's kind of scary that this would normally look like some crazy alternative history scenario, but uh, it, it's kind of not. For balance purposes, I've given Massachusetts and Vermont to the New England coordination. West Virginia, of course, had to side with the Eastern Collective. Texas went ahead with that Higher Educational Recovery Task Force. They got Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana on their side. And the biggest thing I wanted to do is give British Columbia to the Western States Pack because more than likely if Canada was, you know, doing their own thing, you know, Canada's got all their population right here. They actually might leave BC just to do whatever they want to do. I didn't want to put Alaska in anything because the Western States Pack is already powerful enough, but uh, let's see how they do. Sometimes they do pretty good. So everyone has about four to seven states on their side. It should be pretty even. Anyone I think can come out on top. I tried to balance it as much as possible. Possible. Oh yeah, uh, sorry about your borders, British Columbia. I can't give you your normal border. The game doesn't let me. Interesting thing is, will we see the rest of the world take advantage of this super divided North America? Because it's possible. We've seen them do it in the past. I know someone out here might have an idea for a nice little colonial faction. Maybe grab... 13 of those. Oh, and by the way, uh, there is a holy American empire that uh, they all fall underneath. So I don't know if one of them can unite that. I, I'm not sure. Also, I don't know what the heck happened right there. I'm sorry. It's a random spot in New Mexico. You're not a part of the US anymore. The holy American empire. We'll see if someone can do something with that. At the start here, I wanted to see if there was any alliances. It doesn't look like it, but there is the first conflict. That did not take long at all. The regional advisory council looking like they're going to be in trouble. This actually might really help uh, the Eastern Collective because they were not the strongest team at the start. So if they get a little bit out of this, that would help. Oh boy, this is not looking good. You don't want to get tag team like this. Although, wait, what happened to New England? Whoa, whoa, they're going to be okay? I think they might be okay. We'll see. Maybe the Eastern Collective can still bring it. Oh boy, I was going to say, what if the mid- Western Partnership joins in, but nope, they're going after like the Deep South. And the Missouri River states are involved with that too. What happened? How did you guys make these guys so mad? Okay, well, I guess we'll see. I mean, New York ended up doing okay. Sorry, the R-A-C. Wow, and smart. New England gets to live to see another day. They've been pieced out just for free. They get to survive. We'll see what happens to the collective now. The other collective, not this collective. Oh no! Okay, Four Corners now attacking. Higher Educational Recovery Task Force. Is there a better name I could say it? Empire of Tech. Can I just say the Empire of Texas? Canada's dealing
dealing with some rebels down here, so uh, that's probably good. Canada could really... Oh, no. Midwestern partnership. Why are you attacking Canada? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Okay, you're still fighting the South Collective. Canada's in trouble. The Western pack doesn't like you very much. Wow, Canada's in a lot of trouble. How did you guys get yourself in this much trouble? Maybe British Columbia was just, like, holding them together, and once they lost that, it was over. I'm rooting for Alaska, personally. They can do it. You guys by yourself, but it's fine. I mean, you guys have shown... You've done pretty good in the past. I guess, in a way, Puerto Rico is also kind of out on their own. They could have formed a team. Maybe there could be more teams. You guys do your own little Caribbean thing. Oh, it's getting messy. It is getting really messy. Now, this doesn't me necessarily mean that Canada's gone forever, like we saw with New England, they still have a chance. Dang, Mexico too. Mexico has broken out into rebellions. As soon as the U.S. is divided up, Mexico just doesn't want to live anymore. Quick, what's happening in the rest of the world? Nothing much. Ukraine is uh, looking big and sexy though. And Greece is attacking Turkey. So that's kind of it for Europe. Wow, at this point, this is the only continent that has completely just lost everything. They've lost their mind. This Midwestern partnership is starting to look pretty good. Oh no. So the Eastern Collective has taken Pennsylvania and uh, Jersey. Delo they've taken a lot of things. The RAC is really not looking good anymore. Would have never expected that. I thought if anything, these guys were going to have like the roughest time. Oh, the Four Corners team is going down. That's not good. That's not, Texas doesn't need, if Texas gets more land, it's going to be very bad. I know they're already pretty powerful. The Western States pack, not doing anything. They're just chilling. Maybe they're all going into Hawaii. They're just having vacations in Hawaii. They do have Hawaii, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Hawaii said they'd be working with the Western States pack. They haven't officially joined yet, though, in real life. I tried hard to make, like, no border gore when I set this map up, but that's... It just... They've ruined my creation. So the Four Corners team have barely any soldiers left. 47 dudes right here, 33 right here, and the... The Texans and Louisianans and Oklahomans, they've got thousands. Whoa, whoa, what was that? That was weird. Okay, so, uh, there's still a lot of action. Oh, this is brand new. So now the Eastern Collective, they feel a little cocky. Now they're going after the Midwestern Partnership, since I don't know how much they sacrificed to fight the Canadians. Oh, they're coming back down, so a lot of their troops are still up here. I don't know. Ooh, man, yeah, this Collective is looking powerful. They've got thousands of men. What the heck? Okay, they've got a, we've got a revolt in Tennessee that's been squashed, but uh, that was weird for a second there. I'm so sorry. Uh, New England did not get out that free, like it didn't get out of the, the war for free. They did lose Massachusetts. And here it goes again. So there's the second part two to this. Um, definitely there seems to be, it seems to be one-sided, but you never know. You never know. Four Corners are back? Oh, no way. So uh, they don't always take everyone. They're not annexing all the states. So there's a chance that your team could still come back even if it starts to do poorly. For instance, the Four Corners have now just formed the L which makes sense. It kind of looks like an L with Idaho. It makes sense that they just took a big L. That's just Texas dabbing on them, making them like have a L shaped border. Mexico, you going to do something else besides like explode? That'd be cool if you like, I don't know, fought against the higher educational recovery task force. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to laugh every time I say that. It's just too long. There's got to be a better name, guys. If you do, if we do end up doing this in real life, can we like brainstorm a better name whenever Texas inevitably takes over California? I'll be here to, to work on that. I'll be your POW and just like helping you in prison, like writing names, starving. The Southern Collective is still attacking the Missouri River states, but the Missouri River states are fighting a lot out here. Wow, how did you guys mess up that badly? Three teams? Okay, they might not exist for much longer. Whoa, South America, real quick, Bolivia taking a lot of Argentina. Not official yet, though, not official. And then a complete mess back in Europe. Austria is taking a lot of Germany with the help of Sweden, too, though. Oh, Italy, how did Italy get to Ukraine? That's impressive, and Lithuania looking sexy. Big fight in South Asia, and uh, that's probably not good because China's, I would assume, is getting ready to attack. Oh, China's distracted by Burma right now. Okay. Like how Alaska's just chilling. They're not getting involved. They're just, they're gonna relax. They're the Switzerland of North America. I like that. Makes sense. They both have mountains. A lot of mountains. I have a bad feeling that we're not going to see like one team come out on top. There might be like two or three, but not one. Dang, Africa is bad. Africa is probably worse at this point. Is it worse than North America? Ugh, I don't know about that. The Missouri River states have been reduced to just like Montana and South Dakota. That's this, this is terrible. Who did this? I'm so disappointed. The Midwest Partnership has uh, been banished to Canada. So that's nice. Uh, I don't know if this is like, is that, is that what you guys went with? No, they're still trying to defend themselves. They're now just chilling right here. They lost their other stuff. Of course, the H-E-R-T-F, that, that's a little bit better, attacked Mexico. So, um, yeah, Mexico might survive in Baja, though. Oh, you know what? The Four Corners attacked, too. I was going to say, you would think that, you know, the Western Pack would want to unite the Pacific like places that you would want Baja, California, no? What just happened to Mexico? Why did Mexico turn to a red color with this flag? What, what, what happened? Oh, that's what happened. How did that... 
How? What? I guess we're resorting to a lot of different things out here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Everyone is a democracy, by the way, but I was just taking a look at this. Uh, the Western Pack likes the Southern Collective, the South Collective, and uh, they also like Finland, Ireland, Peru, Thailand. They got a lot of friends all over the place. Wow, and they hate like all the other factions in North America. Almost all the other factions. The rest of the Eastern Hemisphere is looking um, not too bad. I mean, Africa is pretty messy, but everything else is not crazy. Okay, Europe is bad, actually. Why, why does Germany keep taking like really bad invasions? Alaska is finally making their move and I cannot believe it they're doing pretty good they are only attacking like something that came out of Canada but I don't know it's crazy and they peaced out for it too look that's all theirs Alaska's gonna do the best aren't they whoa all right so we now have the Midwest partnership popping up out of the four corners territory and doing a lot of damage I don't know how they did that I don't know if it's gonna stay like that either there might be some reinforcements ah Mexico's gone that's sad whoa okay um the uh that agency the re the regency council thing that's gone that that's not oh is that them? No, that is Texas invading from the Atlantic Ocean, and they're going to take all of it, aren't they? I can't believe that. The Midwestern Partnership is back to, like, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin area. They've been, like, kicked out of Canada. At least they're still surviving. The Missouri River states have been banished to this part of Canada. They barely have any sort of U.S. territory. I can't believe that Alaska might actually be doing the best right now. <laughs> well, their font is big, and that's all that matters, is font size. Motion of the ocean, don't, don't believe that. China is destroying Russia, but that's not an easy task. We've seen Russia, like, completely collapse a lot and then they come back out of nowhere so you never obviously we, we've seen Russia do that in real life too we ain't talking about the game anymore Iceland's been divided up between Greenland wait no Iceland is still there we just have Iceland in the east and the UK took the other half oh Venezuela took Cuba whoa oh but Venezuela is probably gonna get eaten by Brazil that's that's kind of cool no oh the Missouri River states they're now pushing back into Alaska Alaska might keep their like core area but I don't know Italy is imperializing Africa again taking Libya and getting even more they are trying to be Chad now they they are a little Chad. Jeez, Europe, this is bad. I think Europe got a little jealous that we were focused so much on North America. They decided, hey, you want to explode? And everyone was like, yeah, let's let's get their attention. So they use self-destruct. Powerful Pokemon move. I'm imagining the people of Mexico as they're being invaded are like, no, not the higher educational regency task force. The soldiers from the higher educational recovery task force are coming over this way. That's definitely what the people of New England are saying because uh, they are gone. Like New York and... New England, uh, sorry, their their council, their regency thing. Hey, Alaska's back. They, did, they didn't lose nothing. And they were going after this uh, Native American tribe that popped up. Wow, they have like 10 people. 10 people defending their entire territory. Wow, I cannot believe the Western Pack ain't doing nothing. What is this? They got all these troops. Imagine they're gonna unleash it. They're too peaceful. They're too busy with their soy milk, their lattes. They don't want to fight. Wait, maybe they do. Um, how did they get to Minnesota? As soon as I say that, I notice that they're in Minnesota and Wisconsin and Michigan. And they actually grabbed a part of Mexico too. So I have not been paying attention. The only person drinking soy milk is me, apparently. Anyways. Yeah, Mexico's back. Yeah, boy. Oh, interesting. Because we have this, like, Holy Roman Empire mechanic, uh, there are emperors. And right now, the emperor is the Higher Educational Recovery Task Force. So I think that means that they might stay the same ideology. They might all stay democratic unless they want to leave the empire. Oh, nope, nothing. Nothing's changed. Everything's good. We still have that missing part of New Mexico. Nice. But we're basically down to just three teams, aren't we? I mean, do the Alaskan, the Missouri River states count? Not really. Alaska counts maybe a little bit more than them. Four corners they barely exist too. It's just the Western States pack versus ugh, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna say it and then the Southern Collective I just say it the Southern. I don't know why I didn't name them just the Southern Collective. They're unnamed by the way That's why I had to just come up with my own for Florida. So here we go Can the Western States win here because if they don't they probably won't be able to beat this like huge rival in the middle They need they need the deep south. That would be key. Oh boy. Texas got a little naval invasion They're doing something right now. Yeah, this is actually not looking good I think for the Western States you don't want to be divided like this. They are surrounding um, their middle rival, the H-E. I just want to call it Texas, but I know people from Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas would be mad if I just called it Texas. Four corners, here they come. Boom, coming back really hard. Okay, there's no way this is going to last. This is 12 dudes just walking into a forest. That's literally what's happening. Not, not even a forest, just plains, because this is just flat land. Texas might have taken way too many of their troops away from their homeland. Okay, here they come, here they come. Louisiana invasion, yeah, just literally a force of 100 would push back what the four corners are bringing in. Dang. See, I told you, Russia's not going down. Russia, Russia will not go down. I don't know. And, uh, 
Europeans are once again controlling Africa. You know, one sickness, and then that's immediately what they all decide to do. Love that Japan is now finally taking Australia. I know that it's been on their to-do list for a long time. Indonesia got a little piece of it too. And Indonesia got a piece of Northern New Zealand. I like that, the Northern Island of New Zealand. Oh, Australia's coming back, aren't they? Yeah, Japan probably didn't. Oh, no, they're okay. Dang, Japan's got a lot of troops. Oh, Japan took back Korea too. This is a powerful Japan. Texas has decided to finally stop messing around and they are probably going to destroy Alaska. Brazil now has most of the Caribbean after taking down Venezuela and uh, they might get a little bit more because Bolivia, I don't know if Bolivia's gonna be able to defend themselves. Oh boy, Mexico. Oh boy, I hope you guys are ready. I hope Mexico's got enough troops. There's no way that's enough. Yeah, once they, the Western states will probably, yeah, they're pushing that back. All right, Mexico's done now. I bet you Mexico doesn't recover because they, I know they want Baja. Yep, they just took it. Baja is all theirs. Oh my goodness. Florida, what have you done? Florida. How did you, how did you let this happen, Florida? Might not have just been Florida, honestly, the deep south. Can't think of a more random two countries to meet up like that. How did Pakistan even do that? Oh, they're looking good. They took a lot of northern India. And even Thailand? Wow. So, uh, like I said, there were gonna be some outsiders that were probably gonna take advantage of this broken up north... America didn't think it would be them though. And finally, the Higher Educational Recovery Task Force is after the Western states. Um, but Four Corners coordination also kind of providing a little bit of support. There's no way this lasts. I know. There's no way. Strange borders we got here. Strange borders. Don't even know where to begin. What is the weirdest thing in this whole video? Wow, look at all these troops. California. The Western states really, like, that was really helpful that the, cor the Four Corners, well, the Four Corners weren't helping out that much, but they got their territory back. I think uh, that, I mean, it had to have helped them a little bit, right? There's only technically three three nations left on the Holy Roman Empire. The Emperor is, of course, the Western States Pact, but uh, yeah, that's nice. The education team barely even exists at this point. Um, the Western Pact is now taking out some rebels that have popped up. Italy seems to be kind of the dominant force in Europe, and Spain is also probably doing really good too, though. Ireland, who took Norway, is now invading Russia. That is why I love this game. And the Western States have finally decided to backstab Alaska, okay. Four Corners looking better than ever, and, well, they are being attacked by Bolivia, though, so maybe not. Kingdom of Brazil. So Brazil has gone monarchy, and, uh, they only have to worry about Bolivia at this point. Oh, wait a second, the education team is still there! They're just bringing their educational system to Central America, I should have known. It's a pretty interesting spot, so they actually might get their stuff back. Yeah, they're doing it right now, kind of. Now, we've seen some pretty amazing comebacks in this game. It is possible that, uh, education retakes the U.S., and people get their degree or something. It's gonna be tough, though. Western states I mean, there's no way they're stable yet. They took all this stuff really quickly. They need to keep it for at least a couple more turns. See, they're still battling them. They're pushing them into the deep south. They're getting some help from uh, these guys from Canada. Oh, Texas doesn't have enough troops. There's no way. Uh-oh. And they might lose their last little piece right here. Either that or Brazil's probably going to take them out because Brazil probably wants Panama. Ooh, they got to watch those rebels popping out of Mexico. That's that's going to distract them a little bit more. Hey, the Southern Collect... North Carolina is back. Oh, that's not... No, that's just the state. And Miami. Miami of Ohio is here. It was Hawaii, wasn't it? It was Hawaii that gave the Western Pack too much of an advantage. This is terrible. <gasps> is that them right there? Oh, I didn't even know they were taking islands in the Pacific. That is crazy. They even got all the way to Oceania. They got to Oceania. Wow. China has the Philippines. That's interesting. Japan has been kicked back hard. Wow, that's crazy that, oh man, I feel like at some point the Western states would probably just take over all of Australia, which is now Indonesian Australia, which Indonesians are also Dutch. Dutch, Indonesian, Australians. At least Russia survived. They survived the uh, leprechaun in invasion so that's nice actually the leprechauns are being pushed out of scandinavia by again what is going on dang that's a weird india that's a weird i've never heard of that india before they've done amazing that's like their best game yet surprisingly those are some pretty clean borders here at the end i didn't think it was going to be that good i mean it, it could obviously be better but it's all right alaska still survives they are landlocked in canada like part of alberta right and then randomly the southern collective and north carolina are still in the east coast oh along with these guys in the tip of uh florida they have miami that's interesting let's go look at the top 10 because this is always the good way to figure out who did the best bolivia japan and madagascar that's crazy there's always a random nation by the way in this game that randomly does good number seven indonesia thought they'd do better spain is six the western states only got fifth who, who won? Kingdom of Brazil, four. Italy, three. Oh, yeah, I should have expected those two. Yeah, those 
they were all doing pretty good actually. But for real is if this were to actually play out, which part of the US do you think would actually win? I don't know, Western states? Not sure. That education team though, that educational team, man. Out here just teaching people, how could you stop that? Thanks for watching, see you next time. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Imagine carrying a baby for nine months just to name him Drew. Stormtrooper 501. Luxembourg lover. Queen of Europe. Mac. Joe Dover. Jaden Knoll. Rat Smacker 3000. I'm the real 06. Aryan after a Pan Qualafs. Duh. Zyluki, Riley A, Mayonnaise Incorporated, Seth A, Ballin Like Stalin, Tyler B, Belovsky, Clovin, Militine, Pizza, Maxi G, Swiss Argo, Elijah Senpai, and LVC.